Hello and welcome to Water Cooler. We got a really special episode today. We'll get right into it. But you know how the show goes. I right, Chris Locks and Mona kick it with my Corolla digital buds like Mike Dawson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gary Smith. <laughs> Matt Fondelier. Hey, brother. And we have a special guest today. You're probably wondering who is that breathing? I don't understand that that sound of that guy breathing. Well, is that's it Ian Darth Bag. Vader? That's Ian Bag. Hi, hey, everybody. Hey, hey. Hey. I know hey. him. Guys, like fellas, 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 fellas. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bro show. We talk about dude things yes. and dude things only. Are you ready to fix a car? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> so, so Ian, of course, well-known comedian, comes on the Corolla show all the time, and now he co-hosts Sword and Scale Rewind with our very own Matt Fondelier. Yep. What's up, dude? Murder. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty funny, right? Yeah, it's pretty funny. It's totally hilarious. Not. All right, guys, uh, don't do this thing where you turn it into a sword and scale rewind. This is a water cooler, okay? In today's mm-hmm. episode. I don't appreciate your rapport right now. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's, it's okay. Um, Ian, it's happy so Thanksgiving. Angry. Yeah, uh, th- th- thanks. Happy, happy Thanksgiving. Happy <laughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, right? it was a good time. We uh, we had uh, pizza. Is that what is that the usual fare? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter because it's a weekend, so there's no specific days. It's just it's, it's Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend. Just, so some people do it on Friday, some people do it on Saturday, some people do it on Monday. Do you know it's Canadian Thanksgiving, Gary? I did. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm a terrible person. I had no idea. You didn't even wish him happy Thanksgiving? You didn't, didn't text? No call? Do Nothing. you guys also celebrate a day where you made the indigenous people people leave? No, we, we asked them to join us. Oh, yeah. so that's like a real peacekeeping <laughs> yeah. holiday. Yeah, no. Yeah. Canadians are just that's big dicks whole, as Americans. That's okay. what Thanksgiving is. <laughs> yeah. All over the place. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Still Their Thanksgiving is very close to our indigenous people's day. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't Which, know. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. Weird. Me- I seen that one. Is that new? Yeah, that's sure is. Is that is, is that taken Columbus Day? Columbus Day is out, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 We can't be naming things them. after Columbus. It's not a good look. I find that you don't really need to tear down statues. You can just put a different name on them because yeah. they all look alike. That's true. That's a very mm-hmm. good point. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, all Colonel Sanders. I want to. I want to take <laughs> some of those old <laughs> statues and just put up a sign that says, "That was my uncle Fred." Yeah. 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 Nobody would question it. Yeah. Nobody yeah. knows. That's good. Just rename them. You'd save so much time, Carl money, effort. Carl Rogers. So yeah. we should back up and say welcome to the water cooler. Used to make wheels. This is episode three hundred three, also known as sixty nine plus sixty nine plus sixty nine plus sixty nine plus twenty seven. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, we we count in sixty nines here. That's uh, that's <laughs> right. everything There's is measured that's in the, order. That's of the 69. kind of show you came on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See now, Chris got a little flustered and hadn't done this his homework on the show number before, so I didn't want you to be robbed, Ian, of the true experience of how this show starts. That oh. is the true start of this show every week. It's pervy, 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 pervy. Plus a little bit of pervy. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, I like it. This is this I, is what to we be get fair. I told countdown Ian, to I told, the next perv. I told Ian very little about our show. <laughs> probably probably good call. That's a good so. idea. Yeah, because he wouldn't have came on, but here he is. Yep. Um. So. Couple things to get into before we get into our comments. First off, just got back from Nashville. The, shout out to all the Boba Boys in Nashville. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, we bark. It's <laughs> just, awesome. Yeah, it's not a, all of us. Yeah, not Dawson refuses to, but everyone else. His does. will be much lower. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, anyway, so uh, you you heard about the the harrowing tale of getting out to Nashville on the Corolla show, but uh, something something else kind of. That happened at the airport that kind of bummed me out because, well, Adam and all, by the way, I'm I'm in I'm in the car with Corolla and he's talking about oh Delta the lounge we're gonna watch the game it's gonna be beautiful and he just kept talking about how wonderful this lounge is gonna be and I'm thinking the whole time oh my I've never been to a lounge I've never been to the first class lounge in Delta so this is really exciting and then we uh, we get to the airport August meets up with us he's like all right Chris we'll have fun we're going to the lounge it doesn't take me. It doesn't take me. You'd know a first class ticket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but I got the there. itinerary, Matt, and it's noted on there that he's allowed up to two guests, but he does have to pay for them. So <laughs> he was allowed to take Chris. Yeah, he didn't take <laughs> and you just didn't have that particular $38 handy. <laughs> so he and you barely do a lot spent of... the 50 bucks on himself <laughs> yeah, exactly. to get in there. Do you do a lot of first class flying when you I tour do. the country? I do, but I thought you were going to say, do you do a lot of being disappointed by Mike August? <laughs> 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 well, that's since you, since you posed that question, <laughs> I've known Mike for quite a while since I moved to uh, to New York City yeah. when I was younger. That's, yeah, that's when I seen him. Mike was a slick hot shot. Yeah, you know, over what, WME. 
Yeah, I think that's where he was. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. I just remember him running around in suits, being like this kind of like thirty year old guy, just trying to get on him. <laughs> yeah, cigarette. <laughs> yeah, I, I have yeah. a hard time imagining Mike August wearing a suit. He is always wearing like a golf polo shirt and shorts and really socks, oh, yeah. high socks and some. Uh, he's, he's wearing the Orange County Dad, uh, yeah. like uniform. Oh, good for him. He's yeah. changed he's, a lot. Yeah, he's, he's evolved. No. Um, but anyway, so I'm, I'm at, uh, so he's in. Yeah, he's, I, I would argue it's the same thing, just a lot more casual. Yeah, he does. He does like same vibe. He does good focus hair. On still the got fashion. good hair. Still got yeah. the good hair. Great hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. clean shaven. Cle- I just yeah. get emails from him, just saying, you know, hey, you want to do the show, and, and and then you guys just like push him out of the way, and now yeah. I just get to do the show. Yeah, so now it's just, yeah, bypass him. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't need you, August. No, never did. It's not about me. <laughs> uh, I, I so um I I decided to go to Slapfish that that restaurant like just get sure. some fish tacos there's there's the Giants and Dodgers game playing, and I and I uh, I s- saddle up to the bar the bar top and uh, and then we find out that our gate is actually one that you have to take the shuttle out, uh so I'm waiting for my food but I'm like God this shuttle takes like 15 minutes to get to the gate, so I'm just counting down the town like oh okay okay okay, is it, it but they told me the gate was gonna be here so so there's this old lady sitting next to me. And I look at her, and I have all my bags. I'm like, I just got to check with a, a gate attendant, just make sure that the gate is being changed to the shuttle thing or not, because we're been getting such mixed answers. And I go, hey, do you mind watching my bags here uh, while I while I go? What's wrong, Gary? Isn't that, is that a federal not, is offense? That not a good I don't move? think you can do you, that. You can't have so, a nice little lady watch you your bag. You cannot bags. have a stranger watch your bag. That is what the TSA trains us to do, is if someone asks you to watch a bag, fucking yell fire as loud uh, as you can. And Chris, wearing the trench coat, the sunglasses, and the fedora, when you asked her to watch your bag for you. <laughs> it's the best kind way of to fly. suspicious move. No, it, it, it's, just, it's just a wonderful way to fly, because the air conditioning is always powered on too high when I sit yeah. down and my eyes get dry. So I need to wear all that. So he wears a coat. Yeah. My eyes get dry. Get me a coat. Yeah. <laughs> well, the sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, but the coat helps too. You'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people know that the coat helps your eyes stay moist. Oh. Um, so I so I look at this lady. And I guess I guess I do the thing I'm not supposed to do. Yeah. Gary. And what'd uh, she say? Wait, there are, there are announcements like if a shady guy asks you, if anybody asks you to watch their bags, do yeah. not do that. I mean, if you read between the lines of what they repeat over and over at every airport, yeah, you're would not you do, supposed. Would no, you say no? No, I would not fucking watch a stranger's bag in an airport. You would wow. say no. You'd just say sorry, <laughs> sorry, no can do, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry, but but I'm just going. I will just be a minute. I just have to ask the gate attendant something. I will be back in in just a minute. Are you classic gonna... move to ditch your bag? And she already told me she's going to be there for three hours because her flight got delayed. I'm going to call it on you, Gary. It's also on the other side of security, mm. right? Mm. So you're you're safe yeah. now. Yeah, closer to the planes. I... <laughs> Closer to the planes, but if you've gotten through that I part, through, yeah, sure. It's not. They've never. There's been never been a story about TSA missing a gun I know, but or a bomb. <laughs> but if they've gotten no. through that part, you've got to. They threw. Gotta, okay, right. they threw. They've gotten to the target, and now they are going to abandon their contraband and get to safety. Yeah, but I think uh, that's an over- overabundance of caution. It is, but I don't <laughs> want to fucking end up in a room with a cop at LAX. I've Fuck gotten you. people to watch Sorry. my bags with just a look and a point, and I got to take a squirt. <laughs> a look, a point. I got to take a squirt and uh, dude, throw like, a shotgun. Like, yep. Hey, Dawson, I have headphones. I have bad news. Wouldn't help you. You give me the squirt look. Yeah. I'm giving you a straight thumbs down. <laughs> so, so you would not all. Would you? Uh, if I asked that Gary and I asked you to watch my bags, you're going to be there for three hours. You would say no. One. Would you just walk you, away after I left? Dude, he'd be on the phone with nine one one. He just told you. He'd be like looking this. for a blue no, shirt. No, I wouldn't need to. I wouldn't walk away. Well, this lady was a saint then, because she said yes. Of I'd, course, I'd, no problem. Saint or sucker. A saint. All right. Yeah. I re- no. The TSA took all my bombs and guns away, so it really should, it was they were clean bags, and so I went got checked the gate. It, I do have to take the shuttle, so now I have to walk back, and uh, and I sit back down. Now I'm just waiting for the food because I'm hoping it's to go because I now have to take it. And they're fish tacos, which is like the worst thing you could take on a plane. Now I'm gonna <laughs> feel bad. I'm like, oh God, I ordered fish tacos and now I have to take this on. On the plane, but um, now when you ordered the fish tacos, were you unaware that you were about to board a plane in Nashville? <laughs> no, I, w- I was aware. No, but I was going to eat them at the bar top because I thought we were going to. Our gate was just right next to the bar, but it turns out we have to take the shuttle now, twenty minutes away. So okay, Ian, this is a sensitive topic for us because a long time ago, Chris went out for dinner and bought Chipino, or mm-hmm. maybe had it purchased for him. And then he brought the leftovers here to our office, 
and stunk up the entire place because he put it in the microwave for way too long. Nice. And uh, I think it's a little sensitive issue because just this very day that we're recording, someone else decided, great idea for a lunch run, let's get fish for everybody. And so this whole fucking building reeks <laughs> like goddamn fish again. That's funny. This kid decided that it was a reasonable request to have an office lunch run done to a restaurant called Fish King. <laughs> There's not a fucking single thing on this menu, Ian, that was not fish-based. I walked into this place to pick up the food, which is a whole different story. It reeked fish like King is inside of the ocean's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> fish, King is, fish King's legendary. I fucking disgusting. I'm shocked that it took you walking into the building to realize what was going on in Fish King. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a very fair point. I can't wait to have some beef. <laughs> but so anyway, since I've already initiated conversation with this old lady, now now How'd I sit back start? down. How'd that start? How'd you start talking to the old lady? Can you wash my bags? How long am I going to be <laughs> yeah, here? And now I'm back. Thank you. And she now she turns to me. She has a beer and she has chips. She's like, oh, so what's going on? What's, uh, how long are you going to be around? Um, I tell her my flight got delayed too, but I have to I have to get my food to go because of the gate and stuff. And she's we're watching the baseball game. She's a fan of baseball, blah, blah, blah. Her flight's delayed. And then uh, she's like, oh, man. Fan of baseball. <laughs> she's, like, she's a fan of baseball. The, the Dodgers-Giants game was on. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she's, she's talking. She's like, oh, my God. I've been sitting here for so long. You would not believe the people that walked by and through this restaurant, this establishment. And you're one of them, lady. Yeah, <laughs> I know you're. I didn't say that. I was. <laughs> I still had to wait for my food. I'd been very awkward to sit. I thought, I thought you were going to say, and then comes Mike August. <laughs> <laughs> but that that would have been pretty poetic. <laughs> but she just, uh, she's very sweet, and she's just like, oh, I could write a, I could write a sitcom based on all the people that walk around through here. It's just, it's just so, it's just so funny, and it's just so interesting. Let me guess, oh, wings. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> Thank I'm you, like, man. nice call. <laughs> so I I go, oh, it'd be an honor to, uh, it'd be an honor that you're ready to come about all the people that roll through here. I've been waiting for my big break. You know, it's just a, you know, just a stupid small talk joke. And she goes, oh no, you're too boring. <laughs> no this little way. sweet old lady, she's like, you're oh too boring. God. Just straight, and I just wait for her to laugh. No. That's Here's when you should have been. You know what, lady? There's a fucking gun in this bag. <laughs> yeah. You are in trouble. You're complicit. Police! Yeah. <laughs> So if there's a sitcom about Slapfish coming out, I will not be in it, I was mm. told. So I'm pretty bummed about that. And then got the fish tacos. I just I ate them in the shuttle. There's only two people in that shuttle. It was me and then a guy in the very front. I sat in the very back corner, and I opened the fish tacos, and I ate them in there. So Monday, you assaulted far fewer people than Ryan assaulted today. Yeah, because I didn't want to eat them on the plane. I couldn't do it. <laughs> if I brought those on the plane, I wouldn't have even cracked the box open. Happy birthday, Ryan. Yeah, so there you, there you go. So that, that Because of the Chopino incident... I know. I'm. A, I'm. I think I've Gio become aware. Chapino. Chapino. Thank you. Chapino incident. I think I've become aware of what's what's been going Since on. Since the incident. Yeah. We, oh yeah. The incident <laughs> like of 20, 2018. <laughs> it's the Chapino incident of 2018. Never what's forget. a great description? Ian. The incident. What's a worse name for a fish restaurant? Slapfish or Fish King? Those are both pretty rough. The incident. <laughs> I'd go with Joe Pinos. Joe Pinos. <laughs> we had the best Chapino in town. Um, all right. Well, and then also I was thinking about. Eating out because I uh, <laughs> yeah you were okay. This is what you do in so, so This is what we're he still does. talking about the old lady. <laughs> we're talking about, we're talking I guess about it is what you do. <laughs> yes, it is what we talk about. There's two want. of you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We're back to fish king and old lady. <laughs> so speaking of slapfish, <laughs> speaking of sla- no, I, I went out. I went out to dinner with uh with my my friend Nick who drove the bus. Remember, I was going to bring this up uh, the other day. How'd that hair look? Oh, uh, it looked good. <laughs> That's a whole different story. I just should carry it. A, a, crazy picture of uh, haircut yeah. Nick got. But so I thought I'm gonna pay for dinner tonight. I do that thing where I'm like, I wanna pay I wanna pay. I think it's a nice thing to do because he drove us all out to San Diego that one day. And uh and I you know, it's just like okay, let's do it. I've 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 been a waiter a long time. I know I know the tricks. I know the moves to to get your card in there before they even notice. So rather than dropping off the check, they just drop off the already paid for check. And you, Gary's nodding like yeah. you've done that, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's a good, it's a strong move. What's your move? Is it is it you you give them the card beforehand? You you go to the host. It's like, hey, I want to pay for I want to pay for this. That's pretty aggressive. I usually will wait until it's established who our server is, like maybe like after we've ordered, and then find them and slip them a credit card. Yeah, I should have done that. Yeah, why would you do? I did the move where while we were ordering, I went last to order, and I held my credit card onto the menu, just uh, with my thumb. Yeah, that's not a move. It's, I thought it would be a good move, and then, and then he takes my order, and I hand him back the menu with the card, just so pinched onto it, so he can just grab the menu with the card very discreetly, 
Did you wink at him like you just winked at Gary? Yeah, you needed to wink at did him. Did I wink you, at you? You just winked at me. Okay, did you well, wink maybe at I him? did wink at him then if I was reenacting it. You should do, do Dawson's squirt thing. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I if should this have episode's not called Dawson game. Squirt thing, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> All right. But that's going to severely affect our downloads, Matt. <laughs> or improve them. <laughs> um, and I gave, I, gave him the, I gave him the menu, and then he's, he just starts fumbling it. He's like, ooh, 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 ooh. It, just, it just drops. It, can't, can't keep holding it. Just grabs it, holds it up, got it, puts it in his pocket. My friend just looking. Because my friend is Nick. He always pays for dinner. And she's like, let me just get this one. Let me just get this one. And he sees it happen. And man, and I, I just felt like a fool. Yeah, I would, if I was a waiter, I would have been glass. Oh, somebody left their old, their credit card. The last people left their credit card. Sorry, let me. Go oh that. yeah, make mensch. the move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. read yeah. the read the room. That here. waiter gets a huge yeah. tip. There's Look, some tension here. He doesn't want to break up your date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the girls are there too. Is <laughs> there four of us? I should have mentioned that. <laughs> oh, that's me even more embarrassing. Oh, that's even better. It gets better. It just seems like it's just the two of you staring at each other, and a, and a credit card falls on the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna make. I'm gonna pay for this and make you feel very uncomfortable. Yeah. Well, either way, I did feel uncomfortable. And I, just, I guess the move is the move. Yeah. Just. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. I'm gonna use the bathroom and then just yeah. go find the waiter. The no, bathroom. you only go to the bathroom when you're trying to escape the check. You go to the bathroom oh, after yeah. dinner. Go wash your hands. Dawson. When you come back, hopefully the check's already picked up. Dawson, you go. Can go wash nice. your hands in Give the kitchen. Give that opportunity. If you get back and it's there, then immediately throw your fucking card on it. Now, if you're trying to pay the tab at the end of the night. You got to do it like the drop game, the hand slap game. You got to be fucking on it because nobody is, if you're, if that thing comes down and you fucking grab it and boom, throw your card on it. Right. No one's going to fight you on that. Or don't even let it get to the, don't even let it get to the table. Yeah. yeah just, just oh. throw it out there. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Well, I won't be doing That's that. Tough Power one. move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was just awkward. I was like, God, man. Let me just do. Let me just do one smooth thing. Couldn't even do it. You got to be like a little old lady telling a guy he's not going to be in her sitcom. Yeah, just be <laughs> frank about it. You know, break his heart. <laughs> break his heart. <laughs> Tell him he's boring. I'm like, you're you're boring, lady. You've just been sitting here for hours. You're not doing anything. You're the boring one. God. Do you have any pages? <laughs> yeah, let me fucking see. Fucking brilliant writer. What kind of credit you got? <laughs> probably won't even. Probably won't even get, even get yeah. picked up. Get out of here. Uh, you're uh, never gonna write your sitcom, lady. You're living a lie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's all the thoughts I felt, but my my fish tacos are out. You don't know who you're talking to. Question: Were the fish tacos good? They were fantastic. Okay. We, everybody, check out Slapfish for fish. Andrew tacos. Andrew place. <laughs> I wonder about. Oh, you're scared of a claw. <laughs> <laughs> I came flying out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, um, how about the restaurant where you uh, paid for the meal? How was that? Great. That, that was a Captain Jacks and. Uh, oh, fantastic! You know Captain yeah. Jacks, yeah. dude. Captain Jacks. So fun. Yeah. What is that makes a it Billy fun? Joel song. Captain it's, Jackie is a Billy Joel song, but not plural. Huh, okay. I mean, maybe this one is Captain Jack. I don't know. It's, no, it's it, Captain Jack's, right? Yeah, it's on, it's in Sunset Beach. It's on PCH. It's, just like it's a wonderful restaurant. Seafood. Old school. Old dude. Old school. It looks like an old Vegas lounge, like when you walk in. But then, but it's all like sea- tiny. Yes, tiny. It's dark, um, but it's all like has all the ship paraphernalia on the walls and the, you know, what big the, ropes. What was big the clientele ropes. like? Was it busy? I'm sorry, what was what? What was the clientele like? Was it busy? Oh, yeah, it's always busy. Because I went out to dinner last weekend, and it was cracking. I mean, every table in the whole, whole restaurant really? was full. Yeah, down in Orange County at a place called Summit House in Fullerton. Mm-hmm. It was, I mean, it was capacity. It was crazy. Nice. So See, we, had a, we had a few friends from L.A., and, and they were marveling. They were like, what, what's going on down here? Like, what is this? And like, no, we don't give a shit. We go. Yeah, it's, it's, we're, we're back. Captain Jack's used to have, a, like, this tiny little waiting room that was packed. Remember yeah. before the, before the, was it still like that? Oh, yeah, it's still like that. Oh, I love it. I once, yeah. I, I once went there, and we, our name got called, and, and I did one of these. See ya, suckers! <laughs> 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 and, then we, and then we went to the wrong table. Oh. And they brought us back, and I'm like, hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Did you say encore? <laughs> I like, I like when, good to see you again. Good to see you again. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Um, anyway, you guys want to do some some comments? Sure. You want to yeah. explain what that is? Oh yeah. Well, I will after we play the the intro. Now it's time for the ah! All right. So, Ian, I don't know how far back I should go with this. So, first off. <laughs> Anything that has the "aw" sound, we just throw the word "claw" in there. So it's listener <coughs> comments, but it's comments because we used to drink a lot of White Claw on this show, oh, man. And we were trying to go for a sponsorship. They didn't. They didn't pick they up didn't on pick it. it up. But we, we just stuck with it anyway. Four, four guys on a show didn't pick up. 
<laughs> White Claw, there's nothing dude, about that. I don't get it either. Yeah. God, Jesus, who will go and who will stay? And then anyone ever opens a drink, there's we have a, a, there's a lot, a lot of claw drops it. from media. And then good for you guys. Opens a drink. Yeah, we work really hard on the show. Yeah, as you should. But anyway, Bring we out like the to... A material. <laughs> We have, we have an incredible Facebook group for the show, oh. and they all they all write uh, c- comments, comments, and, and fan mail and things like that, mm-hmm. and uh, and they and we read them and we just uh, see what, what's going on in the Facebook group. And if by the way, anybody listening or you, Ian, want to join the Facebook group, it's very easy. You just go to facebook.com slash groups slash Bobo Boy Army Worldwide LLC. You answer a few questions, and then we might let you in. As I said, it's my favorite place on the internet. All right, let's kick this one off. Uh, oh, this one's Jacob Nelson says, getting to, the, getting to the podcast late, but when Chris said he loved crab, am I the only one who wondered, does he eat the shell? Jacob, I don't eat the shell of crabs. I find them inedible, inedible because they are quite uh, Inedible. Tough. Inedible. Sorry. They're, they're hard. Although it's no, soft shell crab, I will eat. Yeah. The, I will oh, soft shell crab, yeah. Soft shell, you're supposed to eat the shell. Yeah, that's what yeah. it is. It's, yeah. yeah, it's soft shell. Right. Does That's anybody like, not eat this shell of a soft shell? Crab? I don't think so because I bet if you're if you've made your way up to sh- soft shell crab, then you're, you're an evolved eater. Mm-hmm. I don't think yeah anybody's just you're making some money. You're yeah, making large. You know yeah. where you're not eating that though is at your office at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not yeah. letting the fish smell go. No, not. I like it. Gary, you 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 don't get lunch very often. No, but you do have a lot of opinion on on what we eat. I own, do I have opinion on what is eaten in this building that doesn't smell? Very good way to denote that. What all food smells? That, that, that that's not really here nor there. It smells. Yeah, something smells like bacon and French fries. I don't think that's really going to bother anybody. That's not a universe. That's not generally really hungry. regarded as offensive. All right. All right. Uh, I brought in these but delicious six people's order from a seafood market is generally going to smell pretty bad. Gary, mm. we got a chance to eat at Fish King. That's the highest. Hierarchy, hierarchy of fish. Like well, I guess what the audience should know about why I'm not letting this go is, as Chris points out, I don't eat lunch very often. But on the day we decided to go to fucking Fish King, it was me and my car that were nominated. To go fucking <laughs> oh, pick it that's up. hilarious! <laughs> oh yeah, I it. forgot about that. You guys need to be sponsored by Febreze. Seriously, <laughs> I, don't think I know for- we've been doing this wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Febreze mints just doesn't quite flow though. Yeah. Mm. How are you going to work we, we a claw could, into that? I, yeah, we yeah. could. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But for, Febreze. Sorry, we, guys. Febreze, we know you're listening. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Ryan Roberts says, oh, he says, I was the guy that was waiting out in the rain and playing classic rock instead of the podcast. So, Ian, we got a comment last week where this guy's like, hey, I'm in my car, two other co- co-workers, waiting for the rain to stop. So I figured I'd, I'd put on a podcast, and I thought about putting you guys on, but decided not to because these guys were kind of normal, or they're, you know, they're, <laughs> and I don't want to freak them he out. He basically wrote to explain why he would not show people our show. <laughs> <laughs> I am ashamed of my love of you. Guys. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's yeah, that's awesome. what it was. Yeah. Oh my god. He said one co- coworker was twenty years older and one was twenty years younger, and he just didn't think they were going to get. They it. couldn't get into yeah. it now. Yeah. Well, uh, and then we asked, "Why are you in the car with two other dudes, just waiting for the rain to stop?" And he responded, "We're painting a telescope dome, and that's why." So they're actually they're painting. That makes sense. Wow. I like that answer. Now I'm wondering, are they professional painters or are they a gang of taggers? Just, yeah. And what I'm wondering is, what exactly did they paint on that telescope and is it offensive? Dick. I hope it was boobies, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just one boob. Yeah, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, give us give us an update. It, it might have, it actually kind of looks like one boob, I think. Probably. Just one one big uh, one big boob. One All right. Boob. <laughs> David, David Undley. Uh, he says just made my way up the show backlog to the practically starving semicircle. Don't even try. Don't even try. What? To explain, to explain what that. that is? No, it's easy. We we did a bracket, like a March Madness style bracket, where we try to figure out the best food. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and we did. We did. What was it? Fish. Sandwich. <laughs> sandwich. sandwich. Tuna, tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, and so, really, uh, sandwiches are the best food. I think. Try, what what, what, is, what is better than a sandwich? Yeah, it's already been decided. There's no going back. No. Pizza must have been yeah. close. Right? Oh, pizza! Was, Pizza's was my pizza was pizza my was my front runner. I oh, put no. all my money on pizza. If I believe the finals. It was sandwich versus bacon. <laughs> <laughs> well, because well, it was a racket. But pizza was in the yeah. final four. Yeah, pizza serves. definitely was. Pizza. This uh, was a multi sandwich week. won by a technicality because you could have a bacon sandwich. Right. Oh no way. Yeah. Just you could put yeah, it so in you a could, sandwich. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah well, but that's going way back to like episode six. You guys smoked a lot of pot before doing that one. What's the best food? <laughs> You're not wrong. We had to know. Yeah. Oh, okay. a lot, a lot of friendships. Wait lost. till we get to the dice. 
<laughs> and uh, David said somebody made a joke about that they should do. We should do the best drink next, mm. and oh. I see what happened. Like some potential uh, contenders could include coffee, cola, <laughs> beer, claw. What else would you guys add? So let, let's think. What would be in this bracket for best drink? <laughs> I'll start with you, Ian. Is is it alcohol or like, anything? Or just anything? Yeah, claws, so, alcohol, so, so beer was in there. Be, oh, okay, well, beer's on there. Coffee, orange juice. Mm. Orange. <laughs> Dosh, yeah. you don't like orange juice? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you don't like OJ? <laughs> Best juice so is going to be tough again. on yeah. its own. I mean, again, I'm a man of simple pleasures. Cherry vanilla Coke. <laughs> That's not simple. Oh. <laughs> oh, I Matt, think that I, I had sure? a cherry vanilla coke and I, I puked after it. Cherry oh, vanilla kidding. coke is not the obscure soda I associate with you. For you, I oh, associate right. with Diet Dr Pepper. That's right. That was my uh, post college days. Diet Dr Pepper and Jack Daniels was Matt's drink for the whole time. I lived wow, that oh, that's bring good. me up and bring me round. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what that is. That's pre fighting. Yeah. That's that's what. No, give me, give me a goddamn Dr some, Pepper. And, <laughs> give me some whiskey and prune and juice. Cider, I'm, I'm fight somebody tonight. <laughs> It, he, yeah, he got he got some rage after he drank that. Did did you do the diet, Dr. Pepper, because of the flavor, like the diet? Why didn't you just do regular Dr. Pepper? No, Matt got the diet because you get drunk faster with diet Is that drinks. true? Uh, I wish that was why. I honestly don't even remember what the impetus of it was, because I used to like just Dr. Pepper as a kid, but somewhere along the lines in the college days, I don't even know what it Saving was. Saving his calories for sandwiches. Yeah, I think uh. that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's exactly right. That's what, that has to yeah. been what it was. Otherwise known as the best food ever. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's right. Dawson, what would you put in for best drink then? I got to throw root beer up there, dude. Ooh. Oh, good call. Root yeah. beer or maybe Gross. ginger ale. Like a good made root beer. Mm. Ginger ale is solid too because it's like medicine mm -hmm. and a refreshing drink. I don't, do, do we? Are we including healing effects in this bracket? Like as far as <laughs> can I go back? A drink? Can I get rid of mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got orange juice. Is you got strong, dude. That's you got strong. orange juice. Is there, uh, Ian? All right. We got no, it's a great. You get vitamin C. Dude. There's Young some I'm helping people. I'm helping yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. We got space. <laughs> yeah, orange juice is awesome after recess. Some calcium great. in there. <laughs> after recess. <laughs> if you're a child. <laughs> Gary, what would you put? Water. Oh. oh strong. This, that, now I know why strong. you won't watch my bags at the airport. Water. No, he doesn't like out. smells. It's a universal solid. <laughs> he does, yeah, he does. He is very sensitive to, to, yeah. to scents. You can drink Tuna it juice. and then wash your hands in the glass <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> you know that move at the diner that you do. Wait, what do you do? Uh, you've seen it in old movies. I forget who does it, but uh, uh, shit, it's in the Sting. Um, guy who plays the uh, corrupt cop dips his fingers in his water, his glass, and then oh, Adam does, does that. The, does the hand bath at the counter. Yeah, Adam does that every meal I eat with him. Yeah. Where, yeah, I'll and go I'm to just, the bathroom and so wash keep, my hands. I keep my water yeah. as far away from Adam keep as real possible. Close, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he just dips his fingers in the in the nearest water to 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 clean his hands. If I have no options, there's no sink or something. I'll take the glass of water over to the garbage can, dump some water on my hands. Good move. And sure. do that. But yeah, you don't. You don't really stick your fingers in your glass at the table. Can't do that with orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had some good tasting fingers. You can drink a piece of ice, spit it out in your hands, and do the ice wash. That's oh. legal. I've done that actually. I've, yeah. I've done. I've washed my hands with a piece of ice. I would say this has been three minutes of why I'm right. Of why water is the answer? I mean, everyone's been talking about water. No one heard OJ and went on a fucking look, aria of all the different versions of you can freeze it and use it to wash your hands. You're totally right, Gary, because I did not take into account. The finger test. What like if I'm gonna be dipping my fingers into yeah. this drink, then yeah, coffee's out. This is going to be OJ's a really out. great right. payoff when water wins. <laughs> I mean, I think it's already been decided. Yeah, no, this podcast, I mean, you gotta check it out. They did what the best drink is. Yeah, your they came your up with water's water. never been blamed for a murder. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. Let's see. <laughs> So um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about the finger it's test. It's a utility though. player, dude. I, ha I <laughs> the hate the finger test. Sounds completely. I different. hate it when my fingers yeah. smell. So, sure. Yeah, water Again, would be... the finger test. Yeah, you yeah. know what you know what you should eat. <laughs> Chipino. <laughs> I eat that with a spoon. I don't touch the Chipino. You know where you should eat it. Chipinos. Gop Chipino <laughs> serving the <laughs> finest Chipino since 1873. All right, let's see here. Gabrielle Hewlett Peters. She says, "I don't think theaters do midnight showings anymore." Remember, we we're talking about yeah. going going to the late movies when they premiere. They typically release the movie at 7 p.m. the night before. Now, My, oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 true. I at least out here they do both. You can see a movie on Thursday at 8 p.m. and then there's usually a 10 p.m. and a midnight showing as well. So for the older people who want to watch it first, they're just going even earlier. I always found it weird when they do that, or they were like, "Oh, this movie comes out uh, Friday," but 
we have um, showings on Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. And does that go into the box office? Yeah. Is that cheating? That's why they, that's why they do that. it. They ju- they're, oh, they're just trying to box office. Yeah, they're like, our opening weekend number is like, sir, your movie's been out for seven days now. But <laughs> that's the way they do it. Mm. Now I don't know what to believe. No. And well. there's still like midnight movie like events. Yeah. You know, and they may not do a midnight premiere for a movie, but if you want to go see Rocky Horror Picture Show or something, you could probably find a theater that'll play that at midnight. You don't know what to believe anymore, Chris. But yeah. up until this day, you believed Hollywood. Yeah, that was uh, the one thing that I, I had left wow. was Hollywood that I could really trust. They'll never lie to me. Wow. <laughs> you, you you do ever uh you ever go to movie night? I mean midnight. I was trying to think about theaters. I, like uh, what was the last one? Uh, I was trying to think what I think it was the like it was a while ago when I was in Omaha. I think we went to one of the uh, Sylvester Stallone, uh, not Rocky movies. The Expendables? Other one. Not the Expendables. The Creed. Other one. Uh, no, the one where he kills everybody. No, oh, oh, Rambo. 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 Okay. The new Rambo. <laughs> yeah, one of the new Rambos. Yeah, that where was he's fun. Rambo's grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> grandpa. Yeah. I've seen but, that one. But uh, that everybody, dressed up, everybody dressed up like Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. Bravo. <laughs> Thank Bravo. you. Bravo. I'm good for once a show. Bravo about Rambo. Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was the one where it's Rambo is John Wick. Right, he basically uh, or Rambo is home alone as John Wick, where he rigs up his whole house and then people yes. come there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did stuff. you did you Which, go? You because... saw that at midnight. Yeah, yeah, it was at midnight. Did Ooh. you go because you were like really into the franchise, or no, was there just nothing bored. to do? In Omaha? Were you performing in Omaha and just had nothing yeah. to do? If it was there's like one thing I know about Ian Bag is he's obsessed with the Rambo films. No, I was like, you like my knife? Well, uh, <laughs> as someone who has visited Omaha more than once, come about nine thirty or ten p.m., there's not a thing to do. Yes, there's nothing, and it was right across from the comedy club. So Perfect. Was, yeah, so we just walked across. Oh, might as, yeah, might as well. So you just finish your set and then just yeah. uh, let's go watch some. I'm like, well, that was boring. Let's go. <laughs> 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 that was a disappointment. I need to pick me up. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see here. Donald Powell says, oh. "Matt, yeah, my almost two year old begs for cheese whenever he's cooking. We have shredded cheese, mm. uh, sharp cheddar, Italian blend, block cheese, sliced." Anytime. Sliced. Anytime there's a list, I'm going to need the damage check, boys. Sliced American, goldfish, Kraft mac and cheese, and really bad jokes that I make. How many of which dice do I, ni- do I need to figure out what this kid wants? <laughs> Other than airfare, what is the fee to get you to Michigan and help us out? Wow. Well, for a couple thousand dollars, I'll... I'll Sup, fuckers! Do just about anything. Um, and, uh, you know... I think there was a response to that comment comment on our Facebook group from Todd the Dice Guy, who explained in great detail how exactly to execute this. <laughs> there you go. All right. I the attempted great detail to, was a to website, bring right? dice into a uh, a bracket, and uh, the world has never forgiven me. All right, now I'd like to propose a claw a a, a a poll on the Facebook group based on something that Matt sort of said as a throwaway just there. Matt said, and I quote, "I'll do just about anything for a few thousand dollars." Now there are yeah. literally hundreds of us. I feel like with just a small donation from each person, we could all chip in, get a few thousand dollars together, and we should vote on what Matt will do because he will do literally anything for a few thousand dollars. Yeah. Actually, you there's went over eleven hundred of us now. Ooh. So, oh, oh man, just a buck each. Yeah, see, it's just a buck each, everybody. Do the right thing. You could have paid him off to sm- pick up the food today, and your car would still smell the same. There you go. <laughs> you should make that donation to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash watercooler. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see, we kept the, the second URL clean. We realized our mistake on the Facebook group, and then we decided patreon.com slash watercooler. Keep it simple. That'll trick those sons yeah. of bitches. <laughs> yeah, in fact, we do movie nights, and Ian Fitzgerald writes, I'd tear up tonight. If the boys commit to the rabbit test for the next movie night commentary. Now, I went and looked this movie up, expecting it to be something absolutely horrible, and it looks like it's just a cheesy comedy from the 80s. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It came up on the Adam Kroll show. Oh, oh that's why I've heard of it. Yeah, it's I, where I, I uh, what's his name gets pregnant. Billy Crystal gets pregnant. Yeah. Oh I see. Oh, my. I did uh, think that directed, that was a horror movie. Written and directed by Joan Rivers. Yeah, and so yeah. recently we started doing these movie nights where basically we'll throw on a movie here and we'll watch it and just record our commentary as we watch along. And the idea is someone can put it on at their house on Netflix and then listen along to our commentary as they're doing it. And we started doing a, a format where each month one of the different hosts picks the movie and then reveals it live on the air. Lots and of this, fun stuff, you yeah, know, like uh, We did uh, Talladega Nights. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't right. really cut you off. Beverly Hills Ninja, a lot of fun stuff like that. And then your co-host here had the pick this month, and he decided to pick a really fucked up horror movie called Hush. Hush. 
And he did it specifically because he knows Chris and I don't like horror. And then he just sat here just loving the fact that we were uncomfortable. He loves horror movies. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. he does. He refers to the people on, on, the, uh, on the murder podcast as, <laughs> as characters. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Matt. There's Jesus, a, Matt. It's a, a coping is, mechanism. If, I hope it's so. It's disassociation. <laughs> That's right. And he goes, in this scene. <laughs> Matt. Oh, my yeah. God. It just slips out. <laughs> is oh. he, like, punching up the scenes? Like, I really wish the murderer. <laughs> yeah, why do you twiddle your thumbs when you, t- when you say it to you? Yeah, yeah. We say some fucked up shit on that show. I don't know what else to tell you. (laughs) (laughs) If anything should be canceled, it's probably that show. Yeah. (laughs) But please subscribe. Sword and Scale Rewind. That's right. Keep us alive. Yes. (laughs) Uh, Let's see here. Rob Castaneda. Can can I add? So who who, are you guys going to do that movie? Oh, no. That movie is not available on Netflix. And currently we're trying to keep it to things that are on Netflix because we figure the most number of people have that streaming (laughs) service. So we're trying to make it easy. Well, he would tear up if you guys had said yes, but he's all dry. Yeah, we're just going to have to tear up. I'm going to tell him to uh, put on a long jacket and uh, go to the airport and get his eyes all wet again. Yeah. If he, if he wants it's the best way to keep him moist. Do you Ugh, do you watch keep him moist? Do you watch uh, a lot of horror because you you no. say no. true crime. Did you, you consume no. true crime at all before no. Matt called you? No. My so you're wife, so qualified for this. I am not qualified for it at all. And I'm just like making fun of it the whole time. Yeah, I'm like, good. yeah, that's all I do. I'm like, oh let's see how we can turn this fun. Um and it's tough. Uh, but I hate uh, horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> and he's always like, I love horror yeah, movies. And I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. All I do is Stay watch away it. from Hush. <laughs> uh, I will not watch Hush. Yeah. Uh, the shit that we talk about that you've listened to on Sword and Scale is way, way scarier than anything. It's changed my life. Oh, it's good. changed my life. Like, I'm dealing with... <laughs> Matt, you just said, oh, good. I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> yeah. I'm dealing with a crazy neighbor right now, and we had just had a couple episodes, a guy that killed all his neighbors. So oh. I'm like, all right, how are we going to deal with yeah. this? This yeah. is going to be different. Exactly. Ian's taking notes yeah. while Matt's explaining the, the well, scene composition. Listen, I got to stay alive. Ian is going through what I went through about six years ago, or however long ago it was, that I discovered Sword and Scale. And I would talk about it on this show when I was first listening to it, how it fucked me up in the beginning and I had a very hard time coping with uh, just your average weirdo. I didn't know what to think anymore. Do you? So Matt's answer was, I'll make it my career. That's right. <laughs> Is listening to all this though, does it make your regular life a lot more uh, scary? Like... I mean, when, you're, here's when, you're, the thing. when, when you're, your your wife is out getting her nails or something, you're in the shower, yeah. and you hear crazy noise. Yeah, it doesn't is bother it me. just oh, that doesn't bother? Okay, because mm-hmm. that's not how it happens. <laughs> 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 but it's just some guy standing near something. You're like, what the fuck? Uh, oh, okay. You're like, why has that guy been there for seven minutes? This isn't right. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, like the ending to The Sopranos. Yeah. Yeah, mm. what is that guy doing over there? I don't know if I was supposed to swear. I apologize. Oh, it's swear. fucking fine. Okay. No. Yeah, you can swear Thank all you want. I know we're talking about a lot about fish, and Did I thought we were talking about something different. Yeah, <laughs> I thought. <laughs> no, we were literally just talking about. Fish. Oh. Oh. Uh, I th- here, but if you do want to talk about that, how do you guys feel about eating puss? You guys like it? <laughs> how good are you at pounding it, and how good are you at chugging it? Yeah. Oh, well, we're just it. give me some of that sweet, sweet raw fish. You know what I mean? Let's see, Matt, ta- Matt talks about fish a lot. Actually. Got a little too much dog. Uh, and then, well, yeah, and that was a weird day. Yeah. Uh, uh, you sound a little like you had maybe three drinks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like a puss, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that segment does tend to yeah. come at the end of the show. Yeah, if we're true. being fair, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but still, just as inappropriate. Yeah. Come on, Matt. This is a family show. No, sorry. Um, no. Uh, Oh, I, I meant to ask someone else. Someone, I, I thought I wrote it down, but maybe I m- didn't print it out. But somebody also wished us a happy Canadian Thanksgiving Day. That's nice. Enough. And uh, and also want to ask about Boxing Day. That's the day after Christmas. Yes. Right. And you guys beat each other up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They go full Grambo on Except each other. This holiday sucked. It's actually when we rega- we rewrap the gifts that we don't want and we take them back. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's boxing. That's back Boxing Day. You yeah. regift your. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's very very polite. Yeah. Well, what is this shit you bought me? <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, somehow in Canada, it's become our Black Friday. You know. Uh, oh, that's oh, really? Shopping. All those shopping, shopping deals? Yeah. Hmm. The day after Christmas? Yeah, my mom was always like, how about we don't have Christmas this year until the 27th? <laughs> <laughs> the, 
Uh, because it's still pretty busy uh, at, at our malls and stuff the day after Christmas. That's because that's because we're doing our own version of Boxing Day, where we're just returning. Everything just giving it right back out. to the store. Yeah, we're, we're giving we're turning all the all the stuff back to the store. Do you guys do the Black Friday shopping? Is that something that not anymore? Not Cyber anymore. Mo- Cyber Monday, baby. Oh, I do, really? I do as much of my Christmas shopping as I can Cyber Monday. Tech talk. Yeah, I think the problem now is the stores don't have the inventory. You know, unless you are looking for a specific thing and you know, okay, this store is going to have <clears throat> this exact item, you're way better off just browsing online from the comfort of your own home. I don't think These I'm, you're, taking, I, I don't you're, think you're I'm wasting a unusual. lot of time camping out, and you don't even really know everything that's in there. If you'll even get to it first, mm-hmm. how many they have of it. And then, yeah. Oh, you, camping out. I, I thought you were talking about just shopping oh. that day in general. Dude, have you ever camped out? No. <laughs> yeah, me, me neither. <laughs> Fuck, so how dumb. That? Dare you ask that have you? I've done it once. Best really? Buy? Really? Yeah. I, it, Best it was, Buy. It was Best Buy. I knew it. Yeah. Wow. For what was it for? Uh, I, think I, I think we were trying to get a TV or something. Who's we? I don't, PCH? Me and my brother. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The one on PCH? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, no. Oh, it's gone. Which yeah, one? that one's gone. The, the Wow? The Wow Center? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long Beach local yeah. over here. We're yeah, just going to do it all day. <laughs> you too. Get you know what them. I used to do? I used to go to that WoW every Thursday. It was a it was a Tower Records slash like Best Buy kind of entertainment thing. Wow. And I went, that, where that was a Tower was? Records at one point? I oh, yeah. That. I didn't know that. Yeah. And uh, and they had the big entertainment centers where they had like the theaters built in. You can like yeah. go in. It's like, this is what your living room could look like if you had <laughs> a bunch of money. Mm. And, uh, the and Magnolia was, Center. Dude. Yeah. The Magnolia yeah. Center. Yeah. yeah scary. Yeah. And yeah, we would go there every Thursday in between playing. These are we we had a Thursday routine with me and all my friends. We'd play ba- at we after school, we'd play baseball, go to uh, Fantastic Cafe because they had a bunch of free chips and salsa. <laughs> sure, <laughs> he, they loved you. <laughs> he, some people ordered stuff, but yeah, we we had a huge not table. you <laughs> free chips and salsa, and maybe some relish packets, and then <laughs> and then we uh, we would go to Wow. <clears throat> Burn, burn a couple hours at WoW, just hanging out, watching TVs and putting on like the spelling bee, and we all just like watch it together and like on, on all the TVs. You went on a specific day to watch Thursday. the spelling bee. Every Thursday. Yeah. This is at the Best Buy, like is in that... front of the wall of TVs. We would like... all just loiter in the, yeah, in the wall of TVs. And they the, let the you theaters. choose the channel and stuff? You, yeah. yeah. Because you pretended want. like you were going to buy you it. You chose yeah. the spelling like, bee. Fuck. God, teenagers are the worst. Yeah. yeah. I'm and sure then... they knew them after the fourth week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you guys want the spelling bee? Yeah, see, <laughs> you know what we want. You yeah. know who honey and give it to us. And then, uh, and then after we go to Taylor's house and we'd watch the OC. Sure. Um, and you know the only rule is no girls allowed. <coughs> so we'd have like twenty five. I don't think you had to enforce that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. No, girls demand. We were in hot demand. Girls tried to get into this. Hey, girl, I'm not even kidding. So you want to go watch a spell and be down <laughs> at the mall? Sorry, I can't. You can't come. Uh, you can't come. <laughs> Um, we I'll, we'll pretend not to know you, and then after the OC, we the would snake. all go to the TJ Maxx parking lot, put our cars in a huge uh, uh, rectangle, and play dodgeball in there. And our cars would be the boundaries. I like the last part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We play yeah. to the wee hours of the night, and then afterwards, we'd all go loiter at Seven <clears> Eleven <throat> till about three a.m. Hmm. There ah. you go. You know, we should do a food rating segment modeled after your dodgeball experiences. But rate cheese with it and throw dice. What do you guys say? I think I I don't see a flaw in that. No, no. that has what, to go. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? <laughs> yeah. And um. What was, oh, so anyway, didn't get a TV. <laughs> <laughs> so you were camped out, but you didn't get a TV. No, like we, I think they were all taken, and I think all the TVs now are crappy that they give out. They're just like yeah, like old model. Well, whatever. And TVs are so cheap. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. when a fifty-five inch plasma is one hundred and eleven dollars, what do you expect? Yeah. Yeah, can you send me that coupon? That's that's a pretty good idea. I'm gonna get one. That's a great deal. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm over it too. Maybe I'll just do Cyber Monday stuff. How early how early are you guys doing your Christmas shopping? Cyber Monday. <laughs> well, you, the other guys. It kind of just depends on uh, how much money's in my account. You know what I mean? Yeah, I always do it way too late. Yeah, it's usually pretty last minute for me. Too. I think I'm gonna go early this year. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go give that a shot. Yeah. December and, and, and 26th. <laughs> <laughs> Boxing Day. Great deals. Um, all right. Well, those are our listener comments, everybody. Thank you so much for writing in. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So why don't we get into our next segment? I see a post-it note over there. We do have outros, but we don't. 
play them on the free show. We withhold them for the people that pay for the Patreon oh, show. I love so that. there should have been an outro to the comment section right there, but we're not giving them that. No, no. I'll play it for you after the show. Okay. okay. Yeah, you got to hear free it. Stuff. It's <laughs> very good. It's a very good outro. It's worth three bucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Matt, you want to do some Shea Fondelay? Let's do it. That's Matt's food segment. Oh, no. What type of foods might we hear of today? What might be the price? What might be the venue? So let's find out. It's time for Gary to say, hey, Matt. What's on the menu? All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize. <laughs> Whatever your reaction is, is fine. Oh, that's what we want. <laughs> We're actually, this is part of the fun for us to see an outsider exactly. experience this shit. Oh, this it. is normal to us. All right, so back in March, uh, one of my Chez Fondelay segments was about St. Patty's Day and the food that should be more popular. And I tried to argue very hard for guacamole being a part of the St. Of the St. Patrick's Day celebrations. It's green. It's it's be- because it's green. That's part of the reason. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. Blue Food. It's also very commonly seen at bars where people go on St. Patty's Day. It just seems like a natural fit. You know what I mean? I would not order guacamole at an Irish pub. Well, you're wrong not to do that. <laughs> I think you should. But we are now in the middle of October. And as you guys know, in my house, we celebrate Fondleween all month long. Yes, happy Fondleween, everybody. Horrible name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really, it wasn't well thought out. For, for us that have been molested, that's a horrible name. <laughs> 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 He's got candy. It's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> He's in costume. <laughs> now, we all know about the candy. We know about the uh, the bobbing for apples. But I was trying to think of foods that should be more popular. When was the last time you bobbed for apples? It's been a couple months. <laughs> oh. Wow. Great answer. <laughs> I'm trying to think of food that should be more popular during Halloween. I've got a few here. I want to run them by you guys. I love me some clam. That's not on the list. <laughs> no. First up, garlic bread. Now, Vampires. That's exactly right. There is a lot <laughs> of Makes vampire sense. talk in the culture these days. <laughs> yes. Really, it's actually to benefit your health. You, you know, this is really culture. one for the adults. Sure. You go out to a party, you have a great night, you're having some drinks. Maybe a girl wants to come back over. You invite her in, which is, of course, exactly what the vampire wants you to do. Exactly. Right. Next thing you know, you're dead and then eternal. You so didn't have garlic bread. If you have the garlic bread, you can offer the garlic bread, and if she says no, you kick her out. You can't come in. Or him right. will be equal opportunity. And you can have the French bread that looks like bones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Ooh. perfect. It even looks like it. Yeah, I, would, I, I like, wouldn't even... Well, I came I this back here to bone. You want me to eat <laughs> garlic, and you're going to fucking eat it too? Come on, She girl. says no, you kick her out. That's right. I don't know. I don't see. I really don't see the logic well, in this. I, I would I, argue. It's perf- I, but if perfect. you already have it I, in I, you, here if you, you know have what? The garlic in you. That's what, can't. that's what I'm saying. I'm going to fix right. this all for you guys. You don't have to offer her the garlic bread. You just make sure that you've eaten garlic bread, and then when it comes time for the finger test, it will eliminate her <laughs> yeah. as it is. All right. You go down there and she good. blows up. All right. I'm glad you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who came up with the finger test, Chris. Don't look at me and shake your head disapprovingly. Yeah. Why aren't people just putting like smearing garlic on their neck? Yeah, they should. That's what they should do to yeah. get away from the vampires. Yeah, neck. That's Smearing what I'm suggesting. <laughs> Just put the garlic, the garlic goop on your neck. Mm. Garlic goop. Yeah. Let's make that. Uh, garlic bread, by the way, might be the best bread. Now I know we've tried to figure out best bread too. <laughs> yeah. Dawson said sourdough. I think someone said focaccia. Maybe there's some pretzel sour. bread. Pretzel's got to be up there. I think I said. I think I went with a French roll. Oh, Might you did the go with French roll. I, 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 I because they're because they're the range of sourdough is just too yeah. too vast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but garlic bread. Might be it. Choice. It might be it. Yeah. Right, but I don't know if that's, is that really fall? It's not a naturally occurring bread. It has to be, it, right. it, you have to have mm. an existing bread modified. Anything can be garlic bread. Because all other breads just occur naturally. <laughs> <laughs> I get it yeah. from the bread tree. Anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything could be garlic bread. Sure, I know. You're adding You're adding something to an already. But it is great. Oh, it's mm-hmm. the best. Yeah. yeah. Well, it should be a pre-trick-or-treating snack or a post-party snack every fondle wing. Mm. Yeah. All right. Just to keep the vampires away. Specifically for that reason. Gotcha. I'm glad you guys are all on board with it. Maybe not Dawson as much, but I got, I feel like I got the three of you on board. Mm. I love this it. This next one's going to be <laughs> a little bit of a tough putt. <laughs> String cheese. I love it. Glad to hear it. <laughs> now, first of all, mm. it's individually wrapped. Therefore, it naturally should be handed out the way that a candy bar would. Now, you're thinking string cheese. The kids don't want to have raisins. They don't want to have... You know, uh, 
the dentist used to give out like toothpaste or whatever. String cheese oh. is kind of fun. It's kind of interactive. Teach the kids a little bit about flavor pairings. And string. And string. And uh, anyway, I'm just thinking string cheese. No. Doesn't it come in, at Halloween, doesn't it come in different uh, colors too? You Can't... probably could do that. And that would make it an even more exciting and interactive here's, food. Here's the issue. Oh, look, I, I was all for garlic bread. String cheese too, it, it made sense to me. Like you can, if you string in, get enough strings, you could make like a mummy out of it mm-hmm. or have the, you know, the things dangling. Yeah, it's from like it. arts and crafts. Yeah, arts and crafts and, and delicious too. I love string cheese. It's, it's one of my favorite cheeses. We got to get into that. Oh, we have already. Um, so I, I just, I worry about you being the first house mm-hmm. on my route. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trick or treating. Yeah. Get a little bit warm. Get a little bit warm. Yeah, that is definitely Slimy. the flaw. I thought about that. How hard are you holding the bag of candy? <laughs> oh, dude, I go hard. All right, you, got, you guys yeah. are also just we're we're products of our environment where it can be warm on Halloween night. Most True. places in this country, it's not going to be a balmy eighty three. Yeah, right. yeah. But and you know what? If you get a prize possession like a piece of string cheese, maybe it's worth dropping it back off at the house. But here's the you thing, know. Matt. Dude, that's that's a, yeah, yeah, do like, another you know loop, what? dude. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm route. sorry. I, I need to make tap a tap I got yeah. something real. <laughs> Fucking good here. I gotta go drop it off, put it in the safe. Yeah, nah, take I don't home. I've got a Sargento. I'm traveling with this. If, if we're, exactly. If we're, if got we're a Sargento. <laughs> that's oh, when you that's go to real? the nice neighborhood. They give out the Sargento. Oh. <laughs> we'll wait for you, bro. <laughs> yeah, get, get home first. All right, I got one more here. <laughs> and the rich, the rich, the rich places give out a whole, like a whole, like a whole, <laughs> whole wheel. wheel. Like a whole, this, <laughs> they've got Tillamook over in the <laughs> over on the porch streets. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, Dude, we got to go over there. Uh, and the next day, none of the kids shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dawson's like, no. now that's another great thing to bring up because you got all the chocolate, all the candy. That's gonna make you shit everywhere. The cheese, we're gonna we're gonna be able to keep it a little bit more in control. You know what I mean? No, All right, protein. here's my last one here. Now, recently uh, on my food segment, I did an expose about ice. <laughs> yeah. And hard-hitting the, journalism. Hard-hitting journalism. Yes. The importance of eating ice, specifically. <laughs> we, all know, we all know that kids love ice. So what I'm proposing for my third Halloween should be popular food, the icy, right? We don't, everything on about holiday, everything about Halloween is about eating. But there is no Halloween-centric drink that one can enjoy. And much like the candy, which is pure sugar, the icy is also pure syrup. It turns your mouth different colors. Again, you want to be like a vampire at the end of the night. Don't eat the garlic bread. But you're going to have the red. And the icy also has one of the greatest inventions that, as far as I can tell, is never used anywhere else, which is the spoon straw. Spoon straw. Yeah. Now, let's imagine, for just a moment, you received some fun dip. Or a pixie stick. You can mainline that stuff with your soup straw, spoon straw, when you're done with the icy. Yeah. Look. You put a lot of thought into this. No, he's, he's both sides right. Posted, in <laughs> fact, there there are some really great combined utensils like the spork, mm. um, the snife, which didn't then last, and then the spoon straw. <laughs> the snipe. <laughs> the spoon. The, <laughs> the spoon straw. It it was just Is that a, a spoon and a knife. <laughs> That's what he said. Don't do it though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah its soups were <laughs> rough. Um, and come through gazpacho since 1971. <laughs> That's right. I I do I do enjoy the spoon straw. I do enjoy the icy. I can't remember the last time I had an icy because I, I I only see them at movie theaters. That's mm-hmm. kind of the the only thing. Seven Elevens. Those are Slurpees, my friend. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what I meant, though. I meant like the 7 Eleven oh. style. Oh. I oh. thought you were talking about that tube that's individually wrapped like the cheese. That's an uh, otter pop. Uh, otter, pop. Uh, otter pop. What's it called? The otter pop? Oh. When you freeze those things, you mean? Like the no. push pop or whatever. No, not product. a push pop. It's like you can see through it. Uh, it's like It looks like cheese, like the same wrapper as a cheese, but it's it's a bigger. I think that's, that's an, an otter, otter pop. pop. Are you sure? That's what we call them here. Okay. Or freeze pop. I guess. Well, I'm gonna thing. think. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go crazy. I'm talking more Once like you're done. I'm gonna go even crazier. I'm gonna take <laughs> you to it. <laughs> uh, well, Matt won't be worried. What I'm talking about is the the Seven Eleven, the Slurpee, or the Icy. Because again, on Halloween night, what better place to people watch than at a Seven Eleven? Oh, trust me. I do it every. Th- I do it every Thursday for years, Matt. That's right. <laughs> I'm fully. Now aware. I know I'm <laughs> every living. Thursday. I understand I'm living in a fancy world, but maybe one Halloween, I'll enjoy a piece of garlic bread. I'll get a little bit of string cheese. And when I get home, my parents will have an extra large icy waiting for me. Mm. But until that day, that's what's on the menu. Yeah. Again, again world. there'd be an outro there. But that's really good stuff. But we can't afford it. We withhold them. Oh, we withhold them. Yeah. The addition to the, 
uh, with the icy in, in the mix actually helps your argument for the string cheese because if I get the icy and the string cheese, I can combine them to sure. keep the string cheese cold. The icy also supports my assertion that water would be best drink because you can't have an icy without the water first. That's true as well. Hmm. Yes. Thank you for attending my talk. So, Matt, talk. why don't you try handing some of these out this Halloween? Yes, and video it. Yeah, well, yeah, Matt. Started. Give out garlic bread and take video of it, please. <laughs> I actually would do that, but I'm going to be out of town this Halloween. I'm going to be in Tahoe. Why Welcome can't you do to that? Halloween. Want to come in for some bread? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I happen we to have know string cheese. <laughs> yeah, we have string cheese. My hands are you don't mind if I videotape this? Out of my, uh, my pocket. Matt, I happen <laughs> to know. a podcast. I happen to know your plans on Halloween are to walk around a casino. Just do unsolicited trick or treating. Just I walk should. up to people and give yeah. them stuff. Yeah. Give old people cheese because they need it for their calcium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do they have to come to your house? That's you should true. Be going around giving people what they need. There should be a trick or treat food truck. You know, one that just goes around. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. It's Matt. Yeah. I'm going to change your IC to Gogurt. Sure. Ooh, that there works. you go. Mm-hmm. That works too. Yeah. And it's kind of a candy. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind, kind of healthy. I think kids would be pretty stoked on Gogurt. Cause My son the, loves Gogurt. Yeah, they're fun flavors yeah. and colors. Sure. I think younger kids would. But older kids, <laughs> yeah, older but, kids would smear it all over your windows. Oh yeah, don't get anything that <laughs> they can true. trash don't, your house. Don't get with. me wrong; the two-year-olds who love the gogurt will smear it all over your windows too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you guys do gogurt? I think I passed the gogurt. Like, I don't it, think gogurt was around when we were kids. Wasn't, wasn't it? around. It wasn't, but I had a little sister, so I got that gogurt anytime. It was great. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> what? That's not what I meant. No. Sick no. Please stop. Please, will you stop? <laughs> yeah. Matt gets very animated on this show. We he like does. to cap. We like to capture it. It's beautiful. Well, that was a great Shea Fondle, and I always love your Halloween editions. You seem to put a little bit more effort into them, and I'm glad that you brought up garlic bread. Seriously, one of my favorite foods in the world. Yep. Surprised it didn't it didn't make uh, even the bracket for it could best. Be so food. good though the the garlic the inside of the garlic bread with the butter on it could be the uh, the marrow of the bone. Yes. Oh my god! Oh, it could be it's creepy. perfect. This would be so creepy. Oh, now I just want to go to Wood Ranch, get some gogurt, get some, get some <laughs> of those garlic rolls they have, get yeah. some fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, whatever they throw on the microwave. All right, well that will do it for uh, <laughs> today's water cooler. You guys want to go around get some plugs in? Sure. Let's do it. All right. So ra- rather in like professional podcast where we we give. We have our uh, plugs, and we read them out to tell our guests where they're going to be. We just have your, we're just going to have you do it. Oh, nice. So what, 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 we'll, we'll let you go last, because you can plug anything you want, whether it be for you or just something you want the audience to check out. It could be whatever you want. Okay. And I'll start with, let me start with Gary. Gary, what would you like to plug for today? I would like to implore all of our listeners to know that the reason that at your office there is a sign that says, do not microwave or throw away fish in the <laughs> office trash can is because it is illegal to tell people they are not allowed to eat a specific food. So that is the closest that civilized human beings can come to saying, don't fucking eat fish in this office because everyone will hate you. So please don't eat fish in Hold the on. office. Hold it, on. It's you can say no like it's illegal to say you can't eat that here? I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know for sure. He but has I, a law firm. It's Gary Ghost and Gary Ghost. So <laughs> yeah. he knows all about legal matters. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you can restrict the liberties because what if somebody says, you know, that's a religious food for me and I have to eat it? Like, I don't think you're allowed to restrict. What if you're, what if you're working in a vegetarian restaurant and on your break you're just having Kentucky Brisket. Fried Chicken? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, I, could, I guess I could have. I didn't know that. <laughs> just don't fucking eat What fish. if I'm having a religious experience while eating it? Mm. Have it at your fucking yeah, house of worship. It's delicious. Mm. Mm-hmm. Eat it in church or yeah. the sea. <laughs> Gary. Or in the sea. Admits, I'm just saying it's on brand. The guy who's like complaining about what we can and can't eat is also the guy who's not going to watch my bags at the airport. Mm-hmm. That's a federal offense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a little too by the book, man. Loosen up. Loosen up. That's how we lost the towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. He's talking about 5G towers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> Matt, Thank what do you got? Thank you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> a couple Thank of them were burnt around this neighborhood. <laughs> As soon as we loosened up on that. Yeah. Uh, hey, those aren't trees. Coming <laughs> me for being uptight four times. They do look like trees. I do. Matt, what do you got? Well, I do another podcast with a very talented comedian named Ian Bag. It's called oh. Sword and Scale. Yeah. Oh. We are doing episodes every week. We're about to tape one right now. And uh, you guys should check it out. Sword what number is that one? Uh, 160. That'll probably be the first one brought to you by Topo Chico. <laughs> Definitely. I warned Ian. I might be a little drunk when we do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. You... Look, I'm going to tell a lot of people to fuck off. This <laughs> <laughs> how good are you at pounding it and how good are you at chugging it? <laughs> That's how the episode's going to start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about to talk about fucking. <laughs> how do you guys feel about eating puss? You guys like it? <laughs> yeah, you never, yeah, you never record after the show. It makes sense now. Uh, Doss, what about you? 
Tic Tacs, man. <laughs> When's the last time you ate a Tic Tac? Uh, it's been we, a minute. I actually good. recently had one. I like them. Wait, They're where did you get that Tic Tacs? In, that's an individually wrapped Tic Tac. Where'd Probably you get that? Probably from Adam's uh, when he's uh, going over his airplane box. box from first boy class. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. You're plugging Tic Tacs? Tic Tacs. Remember orange Tic Tacs? I used to eat those like candy. Yeah, orange Tic Tacs were fucking awesome, They're dude. They're very, very tasty. Also the green oh, ones. The green, there's the green ones, too. Yeah. The little green ones. Little mint ones? Like yeah. vanilla mint or whatever. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, a good see, one. Yeah, see, we all love... Uh, yeah, we're pro Tic Tac here. I um, I was thinking that orange orange Tic Tacs and orange juice for Ian. Oh, yeah. We're just, yeah. Bring it a full we circle. Know, we know flavor. And, or- and orange Tic Tacs pass the, the finger test. As for me, I will, I will plug... Um, I like the new Sopranos movie. You should check that out. It's on HBO Max, The Many Saints of Newark. Now, can I ask a question, Chris? Did you just think about plugging the show that you have tomorrow night and then realize that you're going to miss Patreon for it and decide not to? Oh, I I do have a show. To, no, I didn't. I just did, I really didn't think of anything. Oh, Thank okay. you. Yeah, you're I'm welcome. playing I'm playing at Huntington Beach at 25 degrees, uh, 7 p.m. Now, I saw online that it says the Chris Locks on a duo. What is that? Well... I've never heard of that before. I'm not even trying to bust your balls. Well, me and Mikey, we play. We I play acoustic guitar, and he plays like a little mini drum kit. And uh, but there's no bass, so it felt weird calling it Loxy the yeah. band, because even you know. So and we play like, different songs. So mm-hmm. let's, we'll just uh, we'll just call it that, so you're not getting, uh, you know, false advertising or anything. Nice. Mm-hmm. We're giving you. We're giving you what we're telling you. We're giving you. So 25 degrees. 25 degrees. Huntington Beach tonight, as you hear this Thursday night, 7 p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll be playing right uh, right under the Dodgers game. Sweet. So. <laughs> nice. I, I always hate playing to, to baseball games because <coughs> like like ran like after my sweet guitar solo, the crowd just goes nuts, and I always think it's for me, but it's not because mm-hmm. someone just hit a home run. You're like I'm fantastic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Andre Ethier, you asshole. Yeah, don't do. <laughs> <laughs> He's Andre Ethier. <laughs> so pull. That was a, that was that, a throwback. Will Smith yeah. just had a three run homer. Go. Thank you. Um, yeah, because you did. You do comedy. Like you, I'm sure yeah. it must <laughs> suck to do. Yeah, do shows with like you've probably done shows. Yeah, I love it when with some sort of sports events going on. Yeah, uh, last year. So during the pandemic, uh, or the pizza place. I was doing the pizza place. Uh, oh, Di Piazza. Di Piazza. So I blanked love on that, that completely. Uh, but we did the night the Dodgers won. <laughs> oh. So- <laughs> So oh. <laughs> we did right afterwards. So ten o'clock, people are hugging. One guy's like, they had uh, you know the uh, the squirting machine for the for the for the yeah. walk. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. I had one. some guys carrying it around above his head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, <woo. laughs> yeah, so they're partying, and then we we do the show outside, and it was horrible. Some some <laughs> lady from the mayor's office punched one of the comics. Oh my god! Oh my god. It was god. awesome. It was good. Yeah, it's like, can we just go watch? I was like, oh, I'm like, we this, we still need this. We need stage time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pandemic. We don't know what we're gonna do. We don't know if we're gonna do it again. No, we'll still do it. We'll still take this. Uh, but I will be. Uh, I will be at uh, this weekend. I will be at the uh, Irvine Improv oh, all yes. weekend if I can remember. Nice, nice dude. And then next weekend I'll be in the Spokane at Spokane Comedy Club. So, dude. All yeah. right, come check out Ian. We Is there love a place in Spokane, Spokane called Spokane Word. Spoke. Oh, that's that is awesome. That <laughs> should be right. Oh, I might start a club up there. Yeah. Ian, see, that's the thing. I, as you've heard from all the Fondleween stuff, too, we're just we're just a bunch of great ideas. This is really uh, us just doing like a Shark Tank episode. Yeah, this is a think box or whatever they call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call it. Yeah, it's a this think, is a box. think box. We think box in here. All right, well, that'll do it for Water Cooler. Thank you to everybody for listening. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for really being back, for us. being here. That was, awesome. that was fun. Yeah, that was yes. a lot of fun. And uh, and uh, thanks, everybody, for commenting in the Facebook group. We'll see you later this week for the Patreon show. We love you. Goodbye. How do you guys feel about eating puss? You guys like it?